after studying this module, you will be able to know about amphetamines and methamphetamines, mechanism of action of amphetamines and methamphetamines, designer amphetamines, and metabolism of amphetamines. Amphetamine belongs to the phenylethylamine family with a methyl group substitution in the alpha carbon position. Several substitutions of the phenylethylamine structure are possible, resulting in several amphetamine-like compounds. These compounds, collectively known as amphetamines, and include amphetamine phosphate, amphetamine sulfate, benzvitamine, chlorphetamine, clobazorex hydrochloride, dextroamphetamine, diethyl propion, mesendol, methamphetamine, 4-methyl thioamphetamine, methyl phenidate, pimoline, fenrimetrazine, phenmetrazine and phentermine. Amphetamine was first marketed in the 1930s as benzedrine in over-the-counter and taken to treat nasal congestion. By 1937, amphetamine was accessible through prescription in tablet form and was used in the treatment of sleeping disorder, narcolepsy and behavioral syndrome called minimal brain dysfunction, that is MBD, which nowadays is known as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. Amphetamine is a stimulant and an appetite suppressant. It excites the central nervous system by raising the quantity of various substances in the body. This increases heart rate and blood pressure and reduces craving besides other effects. Amphetamine, dextroamphetamine and methamphetamine are together denoted as amphetamines. Their chemical properties and action are so alike that even proficient consumers have trouble knowing which drug they have taken. Street names for amphetamine, amp, eye openers, road dope, sweets, uppers, wake ups, jelly bean, etc. Derivative of amphetamines. The derivatives of amphetamines are methamphetamine, dextroamphetamine, fenfluramine, fentermine, mefentermine, methyl phenidate, synthetic amphetamines that is designer drugs are methylene dioxy methamphetamine also known as MDA or love drug, other is methylene dioxy ith amphetamine also known as MDEA or ecstasy. Amphetamine and methamphetamine are indirect sympathomimetic agents giving rise to release of norepinephrine or noradrenaline and inhibition of monoamine oxidase. Effects via this action result in hypertension, tachycardia and inhibition of gut motility. It was this last effect that led to their medical use in treating obesity. However, they are also central nervous system stimulants and their effect on the central nervous system soon led to these drugs being abused. Amphetamine that is alpha methyl phenyl ethyl amine and methamphetamine that is N methyl alpha methyl phenylethylene amine in free base form are both liquids. Amphetamine is normally produced as amphetamine sulfate, hydrochloride or phosphate and is more commonly abused in Europe than in methamphetamine. Methamphetamine is normally produced as methamphetamine hydrochloride and is more popular in North America and Japan than is amphetamine. Street level amphetamine and methamphetamine are normally submitted to the forensic laboratories as white to off-white powders with relatively low purity but may sometimes occur in tablet form. 
synthesis of amphetamine and methamphetamine. Many methods are available for the licit as well as illicit synthesis of amphetamine. But the Leucart reaction has been the most popular. This method is simple, rapid, gives a good yield and does not involve any particularly hazardous chemicals or procedures. It may be considered as a three-step reaction that involves the condensation of phenyl to propanon P2P with formamide followed by a hydrolysis of the N-formyl amphetamine and finally purification by steam distillation. Methamphetamine can be made by the Leucart reaction using either methylamine and formic acid or N-methylformamide in the condensation step. The reaction of Leucart is shown for the synthesis of amphetamine and methamphetamine. Common adulterants for amphetamine include caffeine to increase the stimulant effect and to mask low levels of the drug and sugars such as lactose used as a diluent. Amphetamine and methamphetamine have isomeric enantiomeric forms. Studies have shown that the dextro isomer has a more potent effect on the central nervous system than the levo isomer and that the dextro isomer is eliminated from the body slightly faster than the levo isomer. Structure of dextro amphetamine and levo amphetamine. Use of amphetamine. Some amphetamines have therapeutic uses and are still available as prescription drugs in western countries but they are not generally available in India except for mephentramine. Amphetamine and dextroamphetamine non-catecholamine sympathomimetic agents are taken as mixture to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or narcolepsy. They are taken as vasoconstrictors in inhalant therapy to contract nasal mucous membranes in these circumstances as nasal allergies and asthma. Now such inhalants have been banned because of their toxicity. Fatal dose. The fatal dose of amphetamines is highly variable and whereas death can occur with as diminutive as 1.5 milligrams per kg of methamphetamine survival has been recorded with 28 mg per kg. This in fact represents the usual range of amphetamines lethal dose that is 150 mg to 2 grams. However, because of tolerance addicts can tolerate up to 5 grams or 15 grams per day that is smokable methamphetamine. Lethal blood level is said to be around 0.2 milligrams per 100 ml. Though addicts can tolerate much higher levels with hardly any toxic effect. Next is mode of action. The major mechanism of action of amphetamines involves the release of monoamines from storage sites in exon terminals which leads to increased monoamine concentration in the synaptic cleft. The release of dopamine in the nucleus, accumbens and related structures is responsible for the reinforcing and mood elevating effect of amphetamine. Cardiovascular effects result from the stimulation of release of noradrenaline. The dopamine released into the cytoplasm of neurons undergoes oxidation resulting in the production of several toxic chemicals, oxygen radicals, peroxide and hydroxyquinones. Amphetamines also have weak monoamine oxidase inhibiting property but the significance of this is not clear. The most prominent effects of amphetamines are the catecholamine effects as a result of stimulation of peripheral alpha and beta adrenergic receptors, enhanced concentration of noradrenaline at the locus coeruleus is responsible for the anorexic and stimulating effects as well as to some extent 
for the motor stimulating effect. The increase in central dopamine, especially in the neostriatum, provokes stereotypical behavior and some motor effects. The activity of dopamine in the neostriatum appears to be linked to glutamate release and inhibition of GABA ergic efferent neurons, contributing significantly to the stereotypical behavior, locomotor effects and neurotoxicity of amphetamine. The effects of serotonin and dopamine at the mesolimbic system alter perception and induce psychotic manifestations. Amphetamine forms effortlessly absorb particles that are extremely lipid soluble. The most noticeable monoamine neurotransmitter involved in the effects of the amphetamine is dopamine. Dopamine causes the desirable effects of the drugs as well as some of the most disturbing psychological effects of the drugs such as stereotypic behaviors and psychosis. Next is signs and symptoms. The common signs and symptoms include alertness and increased concentration, initial euphoria and more extrovert behavior, increased talkativeness with rapid speech, increased work capacity with allaying of fatigue, improvement of athletic performance initially followed by further deterioration, stimulation of reticular activating system causing wakefulness and postponement of sleep, hunger is suppressed, tremors, pupils are dilated, tachycardia and hypertension are not so significant. High doses produces euphoria, marked excitement that may progress to mental confusion, delirium, hallucinations and an acute psychotic state. Peripheral component of toxicity include vasomotor effects, palpitation, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and vascular collapse. Death is uncommon and usually preceded by convulsions and coma. Except that death due to amphetamine toxicity most commonly results from hyperthermia or intracerebral hemorrhage. In cases of survival, symptoms gradually resolve as the drug is excreted over a period of 24 to 48 hours. Next is withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal after persistent amphetamine abuse may precipitate severe depression and suicide attempts, anxiety, abdominal cramps, gastroenteritis, headache, lethargy and dyspnoia may result. Increased appetite is common. When prescription amphetamines are taken orally and in low doses, drug abuse and addiction is not a serious risk. However, drug addiction becomes a risk when prescription amphetamines are consumed at doses higher than those prescribed for medical treatment. Abuse of amphetamines which can lead to tolerance and physical and psychological dependence is characterized by consuming increasingly higher dosages and by the binge and crash cycle. When users attempt to maintain their high by overindulging on these drugs. When binge episodes end, the abuser crashes and is left with severe depression, anxiety, extreme fatigue and a craving for more drugs. The chronic abuse of amphetamine and methamphetamine is characterized by violent and erratic behavior as well as a psychosis similar to schizophrenia that can involve paranoia, picking at the skin and auditory visual hallucinations. Next are screening tests. First is Marquis reagent test. Preparation of reagent to the 1 ml of formaldehyde solution, few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid is added and stock solution is prepared. Procedure. Few drops of sample are placed in spot plate. Then two to three drops of stock solution is poured on the plate. Result, orange to red color for both amphetamine and methamphetamine. Next is Simon's reagent test. Preparation of reagent, solution A. 
20% aqueous sodium carbonate solution, solution B 50% ethanolic acetaldehyde solution, solution C 1% aqueous sodium nitroprusside solution. Procedure appropriate amount of sample is taken on spot plate. A drop of solution A is added followed by one drop of solution B. Further few drops of solution C is added. Result appearance of blue color indicates the positive test for the presence of methamphetamine while appearance of slow pink to cherry red color indicates the presence of amphetamine. Next is Liberman's test preparation of reagent 5 gram of sodium nitride is added to 50 ml of sulfuric acid procedure to the sample reagent is added drop wise result red to orange color indicates the presence of amphetamine next is Mendelin's reagent test preparation of reagent 1 gram ammonium vanadate is dissolved in 100 ml concentrated sulfuric acid procedure Appropriate amount of aqueous solution is taken. Few drops of mandolin reagent is added. Result, appearance of green color darkens rapidly indicates the positive test for the presence of amphetamines. On stirring the color passes through several shades to emerald green and dark reddish brown which changes to light red brown on heating. Next is qualitative analysis. Amphetamine and methamphetamine can be quantified by HPLC or GC. Normally, if GC is used, the samples are base extracted into an organic solvent and either run directly or derivatized and then run. In using HPLC, there is no need to extract. The sample can be dissolved in a suitable solvent, filtered if necessary and injected. In many cases, HPLC is the preferred method for quantitative analysis of amphetamine and methamphetamine. Following method may be used for the qualitative analysis of amphetamines. Thin layer chromatography, stationary phase, silica gel G of 250 micrometer thick impregnated with 0.1 molar potassium hydroxide in methyl hydroxide and dried. Mobile phases first methyl hydroxide and 25% ammonia in the ratio of 100 is to 1.5 volume by volume. Second is cyclohexane, toluene and diethylamine in the ratio of 75 is to 15 is to 10. Visualization is done by acidified iodoplatinate. RF values, amphetamine will show 0.43 and methamphetamine will show 0.43. 3-1 in case of first solvent system. In case of second solvent system, amphetamine will show RF value of 0.15 and methamphetamine will show 0.28. Next is gas chromatography. Using capillary gas chromatography operated under a suitable temperature program coupled to a mass spectrometer GCMS, the drug components of most samples can be separated and identified. Besides the above mentioned instrumental techniques, following other techniques may be applied for the qualitative analysis of amphetamines. High performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, FTIR, ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, UV VIS, and mass spectroscopy, MS. Next is metabolism. The amphetamines are metabolized by a combination of hydroxylation of the ring and the side chain carbon atom adjacent to the ring and removal of the nitrogen. Drugs with alkyl groups on the nitrogen are dealkylated, methamphetamine and methylene dioxymethyl amphetamine that is MDMA to other active amphetamines. Amphetamine and methylene dioxyamphetamine MDA respectively methylene dioxyethyl amphetamine MDEA and MDMA are both metabolized to MDA as well as other metabolites the methylene dioxyamphetamines are also 
transformed into dihydroxy compounds catechols following opening of the ring. These hydroxy metabolites can be either monomethylated or conjugated with sulfate esters or with gluconoric acid. The side chain of non-N substituted amphetamines is oxidized to form benzoic acid derivatives example amphetamine which are excreted as the glycine conjugate or the sulfate or glucloronide conjugate. Amphetamine and methyl amphetamine are also oxidized at the beta carbon to form the pharmacologically active ephedrine analogs. A number of legal stimulant drugs are metabolized to methyl amphetamine or amphetamine. These include benzphetamine, clobenzorex, phenethylene, phenproporex and mephenorex. The anti-Parkinsonian drug seligiline is metabolized to the weakly active levoisomer of methyl amphetamine. Detection of the parent drug and possibly the conduct of thyral analysis are essential to determine the source of the amphetamine. Designer amphetamines. Designer drugs are congeners of active compounds that have been modified from legitimate pharmaceutical agents and are used for recreational purposes. Designer drugs are usually stronger and cheaper than the parent compound and can be easily synthesized in the clandestine laboratories. The term designer drug does not include new norms or new dosing routes of old drugs. Example, cocaine used in free base form that is crack. It does not include legal drugs which are abused. Example, ephedrine, caffeine, phenylpropanol amine, etc. The first designer amphetamine to be developed was methylene dioxy methamphetamine MDMA which was introduced by E. Merck and company in Germany in 1914. However, it was never marketed. It was only in 1970s and early 1980s that it made its appearance as an underground drug. Since 1983, it has become increasingly popular among adolescents and college students as a recreational drug to be used during rave parties. The other designer amphetamines quickly followed and are mostly available as gelatin capsules or loose powder for ingestion. They have made their way into India in the late 1990s and are quite openly abused by college students from affluent families. Next is medical legal aspect. Most deaths from amphetamine are either suicidal or accidental. The popularity of amphetamine as stimulant for the herring pace and anxieties of modern life has resulted in a number of addicts who might poison themselves from an overdose taken accidentally or through mental confusion from automatism or simultaneous ingestion of alcohol. Homicidal usage of amphetamines is very rare. We'll conclude this module with summary. The original amphetamine racemic beta phenyl isopropyl amine was first synthesized in 1887 and was marketed in 1932 as a nasal decongestant. Benzedrine inhaler. Its widespread abuse led to its ban in 1959. Methamphetamine abuse began in the 1950s and reached a peak in the 1970s. It used to be referred to as speed or go. In the late 1980s, a pure preparation of methamphetamine hydrochloride made its appearance for the first time in Hawaii, where it was referred to as Batu. It quickly made its way across to the United Kingdom, Australia, Western Europe and USA, where it became popular by the slang name ice or glass. While ice is produced by the ephedrine reduction method and is very pure, occurring as large translucent crystals, a variant produced by an oil-based method is called crystal or crank and is a white to yellow crystal product. Amphetamines can be taken orally by injection, by absorption through nasal and buccal membranes or by heating 
inhalation of the vapors and absorption through the pulmonary alveoli. Inhaled amphetamine is almost immediately absorbed with a rapid onset of effects. Amphetamine is a sympathomimetic agent giving rise to release of norepinephrine and inhibition of monoamine oxidase. Designer amphetamines are abused by teenagers and young adults for inducing euphoria, facilitating intimacy and verbosity and heightening sexuality. Effects of drug abuse results in hypertension, tachycardia and inhibition of gut motility.